So every single day this week, I have had practice from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. for Little Shop and for A Christmas Carol. I even directed for the first time on, um, on Tuesday. I've had two dogs for the past like two months now. They're both nine years old and they both grew up as the only dog in the house and now they still aren't being friends with one another. So I have a leftover coffee. I think this was my mom's, but she didn't finish it. It's a Fala Latte from Caribou Coffee. It was ice, but I think all the ice melted. I also went grocery shopping yesterday for the first time in literally over a month. Um, we've been so busy, we haven't had time to grocery shop. I've got some fresh raspberries. They were on sale because you're getting to that time of year where raspberries aren't very good anymore. But these look pretty decent considering. Some bananas, these are not ripe yet. This is the most ripe of the bunch that I have. Some yogurt. And then I've had this cookie butter for a long time, and I like to have bananas with cookie butter. But I went, you know what, it might be good on this yogurt thing. And I don't have any granola, so I want to spice it up a bit. I might make a bagel too, if this isn't enough food, because my mom got everything bagels as well. And a fala latte, by the way, this drink is an eggnog latte, so it's like eggnog and coffee. It's really good, in my opinion. It's my favorite drink, especially out of the holiday drinks, because I'm not a huge fan of peppermint. Um, I'm, I'm very sensitive to mint. It makes me like a water fountain, just bleh. I'm like an iced gingerbread latte kind of girl. You know, I love like warm vanilla sugar, toasted cookies, frosted cupcakes, scented and tasting things. Eggnog latte is the way to go. Also, don't mind the monstrosity that is my hair. I just got out of the shower and I'm out of shampoo and conditioner, so I'm using different types than what my hair is used to. But yeah, I was gonna say something, I don't remember what it was now. I mean, look at that. Brand new Litter Robot 4. This is the biggest lifesaver because it means never scooping litter. The crew is that they're pretty much ready to... Okay, um... Good morning. It's hardly even morning anymore at this point. It's 11.20. I have not eaten breakfast yet. I usually don't eat breakfast, and if I do, it's late, or it's when I'm at work. When I'm there, I usually eat breakfast, and it's almost always an egg and cheese omelet with salsa. Sometimes I have, like, ham, sometimes I have, like, potatoes. I'm home usually, like, two days a week. <laughs> like, really home to do stuff. Um, and today is Tuesday, and usually Tuesday and Thursday are my two big days for being home. I just tried to make myself toast, and I burnt it because I was trying to find my charged battery for this camera, which I did. Proud of myself. But I have a banana. I feel like that could get taken out of context. I have a banana. I have some cookie butter that I, I usually, there, I've got like Trader Joe's cookie butter that I've had for a few months and it's still good because I mean, how can cookie butter go bad? We're all good guys. It's just the wind. The wind blew my wreath into my door and it made a noise like someone was like trying to open it. Oh, I usually will eat like some cookie butter with my banana, but that seems too sweet. So I'm just gonna have a plain banana. <laughs> and I burnt my toast and I don't know if I wanna make more, so maybe I'll make toast. I have- Bella, Bella, Lucy. That's my fault, I gave her something to lick. I have a leftover uh, mocha from Caribou. So I put it in a cup with some ice. Luckily I drank some out of it, so it fit in my cup with ice today. I realized I have no idea what I'm doing with my YouTube channel. Like I'm just, I have a bunch of old footage and I was not intentional about what I filmed when I started this because I don't want it to be a popular thing. I get like 20 views per video if I'm lucky. I mean, I'm not expecting to be Emma Chamberlain. I don't want to be Emma Chamberlain. This is more for my sake so that when I'm old, I still remember my life. I still have fun making these videos. Like, I actually really enjoy, like, editing and filming and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? What can I make that's fun? And I, I looked at a lot of the videos that I watch that aren't, like, Dungeons & Dragons campaigns. Um, <laughs> I like watching a lot of what I eat in a day videos or what I eat in a week. I feel like I shouldn't be filming myself eating a banana. What a strong start. I don't know. I was literally, watch I was literally watching one just now and I remembered that I had this idea like a few days ago. My what I eat in a days are kind of lackluster though because I eat at really weird times and I don't eat, I don't think, as much as I should or I, I eat just, I, I think I do eat enough, but I just eat like in weird times and the foods that I eat are weird. That makes no sense. Whatever, so I'm starting the day off with 
a banana, and coffee. I'm about to make lunch soon. So I'm literally just having this in my system so that I can make lunch without wanting to vomit, you know? And in the morning, I get really sick. Often. No, I'm not pregnant. Because <laughs> usually, like, after I sleep, it takes me a really long time to wake up. <laughs> Whatever. And I, um... I'm in a lot of pain in the morning, and then I'll have, like, acid reflux, or my iron's really low and stuff, so I just feel awful in the morning all the time. And so, breakfast is always the hardest meal of the day for me. I have bagels. I might make a bagel. I'm gonna watch some stuff. I'm trying to catch up on Critical Role. further and kind of cleaning its stake in the middle of this jungle. Hi guys. Hi. I am dressed now. Finally. Oh, sorry babe. It's almost one o'clock. I have to leave in like two hours, but I'm gonna make this pasta salad that I saw on Instagram forever ago. It's a Greek pasta salad, pasta salad and I don't remember how to make it and I don't really want to find out. So we're just gonna go for it. I've got these, um, Bartolini. And then I've also got like some tomatoes and cucumbers and feta cheese and I think some like onion might be in it and then some like olive oil. I'm gonna get ready to make it now so you probably can't see my face but that's fine. I feel, I'm feeling kind of cute. My hair is getting really long. Um, I feel like I'm in the 60s because <laughs> it's just like poofy and cool. I had it in a braid for a little bit last night, but I didn't have it like overnight, like long at all. My hair was like dry too, but it kind of has this, I look kind of poodle-like now. I've also got, I got my favorite jeans. They're a pair of thrifted Levi's. This shirt was free from um, a lady who passed and I managed to get like all of her clothes for some reason. And then my, I've got my, uh, Nike Cortez is on that I've had since freshman year, <laughs> but they still fit and they are so cute And I've, of course got my favorite necklace on I've uh, my confirmation mentor got this for me who just so happens to be um, my boyfriend's grandma uh, She's absolutely amazing. I love her to death and um, She got me this necklace when I got confirmed it has so many knots in it now And I feel like that's like completely representative of like what I've been through since I've had this necklace, if that makes sense, because it's been a very eventful two years of my life. And this necklace was like, oh, I do this all the time when I'm like nervous or anxious. And it's just, I always pray just holding this because it's like a literal godsend <laughs> in my life. That's my fit today. It's looking a little bit like the Dwayne The Rock Johnson fit that was really popular, uh, but I don't have a fanny pack or anything, but I like, it's simple, I might add like a coat or something to it, so there you go. I'm gonna go because I don't want to film while waiting for the water to boil, so I'll be back. Oh, jeez the beast. Oh, it's just... fridge that we have was $200. Not even on Black Friday. It's just that the ice machine didn't work so someone gave it to us for like practically free. Oh no, I lost a ton of My card ran out of storage, so let worse quality, but better ankle, I think, actually.
Oh boy. I have been absolutely obsessed with these guys. Not just the apple cranberry one. This is my first time doing the cranberry one because I'm sick of just having the apple ones. But they have like, like I think like grape ones too and stuff. And I got a bunch of them at the dollar store. So they're like a perfect size. Cause like usually they have the huge bottles. Like I have in my fridge here. I have like the two huge bottles right back there. But these are like perfect single serve size. And they were like a dollar 25 each at like Dollar Tree. And I'm obsessed with them. I have so many of them. Unfortunately, I think they're only seasonal. So I'm like really bummed about that. And they're so good. They make me feel fancy too. I love glass bottles. Cold things in glass bottles are just better. I feel like it's also kind of good I'm filming one of these because my boyfriend doesn't think I eat anything. Um, I, do, I don't have problems with food. Like I don't have an eating disorder. But um, I have a lot of health issues that makes it difficult to eat food sometimes. Like I'm not allergic to anything, but like I have like really severe sensory issues when it comes to food. And because like randomly I get very ill, food sometimes tends to be an obstacle because I'll just, some food will just make me toss my cookies to put it lightly for no reason. And uh, no one's ever been able to identify why that is and no one cares enough to actually do anything about it. So, including myself, I'm hungry. I have some homemade dumplings over there that my stepdad sent home from uh, the restaurant. And then I'm making some turkey and cheese sandwiches. So this is like what I used to bring to school every day. My freshman year before I left school, in eighth grade, I had a Nutella sandwich every day. And then I got sick of those. This might be bad, but I don't care. And there you go, basic sandwich. All right, there's my lunch bag. Hi, I haven't filmed in quite a while. I look awful because it's, it's a snow day. So I never got ready <laughs> for anything and I look rough but i don't care but i do want to show you what i made for lunch today and i can show the fruits of my labor from breakfast as well so i made this salad it's very similar to like a chick-fil-a salad um like my favorite one with the nuggets so i've got a bunch of like purdue nuggets that i just cut in half um i'm cutting tomatoes over here to add and then it's just a spring mix and then i'm gonna add cheddar cheese and for my dressing I'm gonna use Chick-fil-A sauce. Nothing fancy, but I think it's gonna be pretty good. I also have some mandu that I think I'm gonna eat afterwards because um, it's just not fitting in my freezer really well. So I'm hoping that I can get like half the bag out so that it'll fit nicer. And I've been craving these for the past few days. So um, even though this is probably enough food for how hungry I am right now, um, I'm gonna eat it and I think I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm letting these defrost. So these will kind of be like a mid afternoon snack and this is kind of my lunch. I had a little bit for breakfast. There are these things in my freezer where they were like chocolate covered bananas and chocolate covered strawberry things, but they're like kind of breakfasty snack. I don't know how to explain it. There were just like one or two of them. And then I juiced a bunch of grapefruits cause we have a bunch of grapefruit now. Um, we got FFA fruit just the other day. And so I actually had some grapefruit in my fridge already. So I'm trying to use up everything in here so that we can get the FFA fruit in. That was it. I thought I ate more, <laughs> but I don't think I did. Uh, even when I was eating, I was like, I thought I made more food, but I, I guess I didn't this morning. I have two bananas. Uh, these are getting kind of old. They're starting to turn. So are the ones that are over there. I think they were just like a re weird type of ripeness where they never quite hit like a nice ripe. They were like green and then they turned brown. So I might make some banana bread later. Also, we have so many apples. So I'm contemplating making like an apple crisp or something. I don't think I'm going to do that right now, but I think I'm definitely going to make some banana bread. So yeah. Here is my final product. It looks pretty good, I think. I've got Chick-fil-A sauce and cheese, everything on it. And I've got fresh squeezed grapefruit juice and a leftover coffee from Caribou. Again, I know, shocker, I'm kind of predictable. Mm -hmm.